Here's some case file of uh compiled CSV. Ah, Lone Rot, Trevor Honest. Good, good. We've got a male, age 43, identified as Dr. Yarmolinsky, stabbed in the abdomen. The weapon's still missing, and there's still no trace of another person. I swear, we always seem to get more of this stuff in the carnivals in town. I don't mean to say it's the carnival workers or anything, it's the atmosphere, or the smell, or the late nights, or the noise, or the beer. How was he found? What? How was he found? Oh. Uh, apparently there was a phone call for him through the hotel at 1103 this morning, and he didn't respond. Housekeeping, assuming he was out, came in and found him at 114 this afternoon. Any known enemies or any... Wait, Dr. Marcel Yarmolinsky? The writer? Historical and religious writer. The worst kind for a homicide. He just checked in around 10 o'clock last night, and all the locks are still on the suitcases. The key's still in his wallet. As far as we can tell, nothing's been disturbed. Revenge, then, or retribution. All descriptions of Dr. Yarmolinsky have described him as quiet, almost antisocial, like he had a fear of people. I don't think he would have made enemies face to face. Seems like the kind of guy who'd avoid all conversations, let alone confrontations. Can we assume it was a reader who disagreed with his work? Commissioner, isn't it Dr. Bagali staying in this hotel? You've looked at him. See, she is staying here as of two nights ago. So couldn't this be a mistake? What? You said it yourself. Why else would someone break into a room with absolutely no valuables in it? Um, see, she's staying in room R306. That's just down the hall. I think you may be stretching this. It was a simple mistake. We all know the Petrarch of Galley is the possessor of the finest sapphires in the world. Someone intending to steal them came in here by mistake, the doctor got up, and the robber had to kill him. What do you think? It's possible, but it's not interesting. In the hypothesis you postulated, the chance intervenes largely. Here lies a dead rabbi. I should prefer a purely rabbinical explanation, not the imaginary mischance of an imaginary rock. I'm not interested in rabbinical explanations. I'm interested in the capture of the man who killed this unknown person. Not so unknown, perhaps. A vindication of the Kabbalah, the signature of God, tales of the Hasidim. I'm only a poor Christian. Carry off all these moth-eating classics if you wish. I haven't got time to lose in Jewish superstitions. Maybe this case belongs to the history of Jewish superstitions. I still don't think we should disregard a mistake as a possibility. Has anyone spoken to the Petrarch of Galilee? No. I think I better go ask her a few questions. Just to cover all the bases. Sir? John Roomberg is in the lobby and he's demanding to be led into this crime scene. Get down to the hotel lobby and get him out of there. John Roomberg. He was let go a couple of months ago, and now he keeps doing this. Nervous breakdown. Now he seems to think he still works for us. Refuses to get help. I'll be right back. Sir. The first letter of the name has been spoken. Well, this is an interesting little surprise. The first letter of the name has been spoken. Commissioner, have all these been checked, dusted, cataloged, everything? Uh, yes, I believe they have, yes. I want them collected and brought to my office as soon as we're done over here. Certainly, Lone Rock. Still looking at those old books? What's it been, like, a couple weeks now? About. But I always have time for you. As you should. So what'd you do today? Save the world a little out of time, I hope. We almost had a morrow. This close, we were this close, and he got away. I know I should know this, but um, who's a morrow? Oh, the convict who escaped a couple of weeks ago? He pretty much disappeared until yesterday. We almost had him, and he disappeared again. I don't understand it. That'll keep us busy for a while. Uh, well, I hope you catch that guy. Um, do you mind? No, at the rate I'm going, I could use all the perspectives I can get. So, uh, why are you still looking at this case? I thought it was done, or dead, or whatever. Well, all my other cases have been really self-solving, and over quickly. This is the only case that doesn't have a resolution yet, and it's still my case, so it's still my responsibility. 
I think I'm gonna give it a couple of days and then let it go until something related happens. Oh, um, so what are these books about anyway? Oh, you know, Jewish beliefs, practices, superstitions mostly. Oh. Do you actually understand any of this? Because I've read like three sentences and it doesn't really make sense at all. Well, it makes about as much sense as you do. Hey! Oh, I'll get back. You know, you should really take a break. You look tired. <laughs>